Rod, real deep, cool, coming at you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to come in with the roundup. Uh, after work today, after wearing Perfumo Del Forte's Aroma Imperial, we're going to give you what happened. We're going to tell you what happened right after this brief message. Message over. Here we go. This is what happened. We laid this on around 6.30 this morning. I got off work at 3 o'clock. It was indeed still a skin scent. I still could smell it. I also washed dishes. I also worked the day. I was climbing down up, up and down on trains. It was 34 degrees, somewhere around the average time, average temperature. And uh, like I said, I put it on at 6. Came home, got to work at 3. It was still on. And uh, wash dishes. Well, not just wash dishes. I had to wash dishes to cook my food because I left the sink just a little bit out of order. I normally don't do that. You know, I don't get down like that because homeboy, man, my glasses be tripping. Because homeboy don't get down like that. He always leaves his crib sparkling clean so he can come back to some order. You know what I mean? So, nevertheless, what popped off was this was still in my hand. And even after I ate and washed dishes, I still could smell it. It's primarily probably because of the base of vanilla, which is a, a base note in this. and Because that's what I smelled. And probably the sandalwood uh, is probably what kept this on so long. Projection, not much projection. But if you shake this, you can see, you can see that it's active, man. It's like, you know, it's like a, a like some nice perfume in here. It might be a nice concentration of this. I, I don't, you don't normally don't shake and see all these bubbles like that. But um, and the spray is very a big mist, as I said, just like um, just like Marconi three, a nice um, Creed mist. Okay, so once again, put this on the day. Went to work, worked until three o'clock. Got off at 3, still a skin scent. Projection, not really, not that much projection. And let me tell you why. It's actually designated to be a summer scent, and that's probably what happened. It just couldn't handle the cold. It's not a cold scent. And maybe I sprayed more, it probably would have held its own. But Roman Imperial is not a slouch even in the cold because I smelled it all day. Let me tell you something. Summertime, springtime, I can't wait to put this on. It dries down to this beautiful, beautiful, like I said, vanilla. vanilla. It almost smells like amber. And I think because maybe there's some ambergris in this. Yeah, it is. Ambergris is in this. Let me give you the notes and let me read what it says to you real quick. Because I'm trying to hurry up and get to uh, my nearest place where I can get a drink and watch this 49ers Seattle game. Denver already won. That's so all I want to win. I can't stand. I cannot deal with the Brady people, man. I can't deal with them. I'm so happy that Peyton won. I hope he wins it. I hope he go. I hope he wins it all. I have no irons in the fire for real because, you know, my Eagles went down. But uh, yeah, I do hope Peyton Manning does win it all. All right, here we go. Roman Imperial. I'm reading it from my uh, trusty iPad mini. Let me, let me read to you like this. Okay. Roman Imperial by Perfumi Del Forte is an oriental flurry fragrance for women and men. Roman Imperial was launched in 2008. Top notes are cinnamon, Brazilian rosewood, mandarin, orange, neroli, to tomato leaf, bergamot, and coriander. Or coriander. Middle notes are toberus, iris, syringa, orchid, jasmine, Turkish rose, and ylang-ylang. And your base notes are sandalwood, civet, vanilla, oak moss, and ambergris. Once again, the dry down... It just reminded me of a, a, a amber vanilla dry down. It really dried down really pretty. Didn't really pick up a lot of civet. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, what is, you don't have to worry about the skanky thing going on with it, like the civet and some of the other uh, couple of babies I have. And uh, cinnamon, upon first spray, I was going to first spray this, but I'm trying to hurry up. I want to get this done because I want to make sure that I got this done the same day I tested, just to make sure I'm accurate in what I say. But I did want to respray it again to revisit the spray. I tell you what, this is what I do. I don't like wasting my precious, but I'll show you. I should break off for you if you can see. See that mist? My gosh, are you kidding? And when you first, I smell a lot of neroli. I don't like neroli. I, I didn't like neroli portofino. Um, I'm not not a neroli person. I'm actually looking at uh, some people. They have neroli on it. In it. Somebody trying to sell me. I think it's um well, not trying to sell me, but has it on sale. And I think it's um bamboo harmony. And the neroli really what was keeping that from me. But yeah, you can definitely smell the neroli in this. 
And uh, not really a lot of cinnamon for the top notes. Um, I can smell some rose in this. Don't know what your ylang ylang smells like. But uh, when it first starts off, I'm telling you, I don't really like it that much when it first starts off. This right here, right now, I'm like, oh, God. Ugh. You know, it smells like, you know, woman's fragrance. It really does. But um, so don't smell much of the cinnamon. I don't smell a lot of the um, Brazilian rosewood. And not that much mandarin orange. I smell a lot of Neroli. Neroli Bergamot and jasmine and some rose. It's what I smell. It smells feminine. But man, when that thing starts to calm down, oh my gosh, and the bass notes come early. Bass notes come early. Let that vanilla and that ambergris and that sandalwood get up and up on that rose. And oh man, with the, with the freaking neroli. And I can deal with this neroli because it's calmed down with the help. I'm smelling my hand like it's on my hand. Um, like, you know, it's calming down. And it's combining, and it's blending very, very nicely. So that's why it's called the uh, Oriental Floral Fragrance. But like I said, it's only in the beginning, and once you get past that, the thing is a beautiful thing. I cannot wait till summer. Can't wait, yo. My what is up with my glasses, yo? Is, is it me or is it something wrong? You know what I mean? I think there's something wrong with my glasses. But that's cool. I gotta get ready to get out of here. What am I wearing tonight? Get it, you boy. That leather tonight, baby. You ready to go over here? Because I think it's going to be some ladies over here looking for them men watching the football game. So I want to make sure I'm in position, position to be in position. And that's what the Tuscan leather is going to do. Because I think what it's going to do for me is going to cut through all of the food and all of the, 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 the smell that's involved in it. Put a little, just a little bit. Because I sprayed for my decant. So I don't need to use a lot of this, but I just did. On top of the hand, baby. On top of the hand. Want them to be able to smell it. Can I get you that drink? Get your seat for you. When you go into the bathroom, <laughs> how you doing? What's your name? My name is Raj. Better known as Rajor, real deep cool. You know, whatever I got to do to, you know, yeah, and then you talk like this. Yeah, I know. Because you know what I'm saying? Because basically, a lot of times what I do when I play music, you know, and yeah, you really looking nice. I mean, it's something about you. That's the whole feature you have going on. Holla at your boy. Real deep cool. Raj, I got to go check out this championship game. 49ers, Seattle. No iron in the fire on this. Long as Peyton won, I don't care who wins between neither one of those teams because I want Peyton to win. How about your boy 100 rods? Get at me, yo! What?